Hello, my name is Rachel Anise, otherwise known as The Beauty Professor. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am excited to cover some products that I've been loving a lot of lately. Many of these are purchases or rebuys, and I think in all cases, these are products that I've tested thoroughly and I would deem absolutely unequivocally worth it. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm now definitely in a flow with the new college semester seven classes, all communication based. By the way, that brings me to a question. Would you guys like me to do a Q&A where I talk more just kind of about my life in and outside of beauty at some point? If so, I'll figure out a modality for making sure that questions can be asked and then put them together in a video that's kind of chatty like that. So let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in. It's been on my mind and something that I was thinking I could maybe pull off this year. With regards to the products, these are all pieces that I have been using a ton of, and I feel like usage is the best way to gauge if something is worth it. If you buy it, are you going to use it? Is it constantly popping up in your routine? If so, then it's made the list today for me. So I'll start with skincare today. I need to show you the Euphoria Deep Cleansing Green Tea Jelly Cleanser. This is my second tube of it. I've got like this much left of the original one that was sent to me and I love it so much. I think I mentioned it in my last video that I ordered a new one. What's good about this is that it truly removes every last speck of makeup without stripping your skin. It's got this really unique jelly texture. I use it in the shower because I wash my makeup off at night in the shower and I am left with the cleanest skin. Knowing you wash your makeup off at night and maybe you get out of the shower and you dry your face with a towel and sometimes you still find some errant makeup that never happens with this. Also the reviews on this are insane. Tons and tons of five star reviews so I'm clearly not alone in my love of this formulation. I can't wait to see what Euphoria is doing next. For skin I have two very different formulas both of which are like down to here. I've been using them so much lately. First is the Herbal Face Food Cure X. This is a design to fight hyperpigmentation, to help gently resurface the skin. Nothing but plant-based ingredients and tons of them. If you deep dive and read about what's in these formulations, you'll be so impressed by the way that it achieves efficacy while being all entirely plant-based. I've never really used anything like it. And like I said, I've used almost this entire bottle. I'm down to here, so I'll continue using it. I feel like my skin has been really smooth and clear since I've integrated this into my routine. And I started this, gosh, earlier in the summer. So it's been a while and I've really just stuck with it. Next is the Agent Natura Holy Oil. This is a facial serum that I use year round. This is probably my fifth or sixth bottle at this point. It's so gentle. I can even use it on Joey if she has a dryness or an irritation. It's hydrating, it's glowy, it makes your skin look so bouncy. You can mix it with foundation. I know I've talked about it a lot, but truly I'm talking about the things that I think are worth it and this is one of them. I'm so in love with this serum. I hope it's always available. It's something my mom and I both use regularly and I truly appreciate the results that I have found when I use this. This is also great because when your skin is kind of acting up or maybe you've tested a lot of things and you just need to reset, I always come back to this. It just calms my skin, calms the redness. And in the morning when I wake up, I'm like, oh, skin is back to normal again. It truly resets things. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, next is this Current Body Eye Device and I'm gonna be talking about two eye products. This is the device and it uses the power of red light to help stimulate collagen production, to fight fine lines and wrinkles. Red light devices are so effective for really helping the skin to repair itself. And like I said, boost collagen production, which leads to bouncier, smoother, more glowy skin. And this one is specifically designed for the orbital area. You can wear it best of all with your eyes open while you do other things. It's designed to not in any way harm your eyes. And it's a really short treatment. It's about three minutes long. And so it makes it really easy to use every day and you can super calibrate your results. So you can see, I'm just gonna take it off so you guys can see what it looks like behind here. You've got the red lights and it's not hot or even warm. It's certainly not uncomfortable. I feel like the best devices 
are the ones that you will use regularly and because of the ease of use on this one, I've been using it very regularly. It's at an affordable price point. It's great for the orbital region, which is always a question I get from followers and readers. Like, what can I use for my eyes? And this is one of my go-tos lately. Next is the By Terry Hyaluronic Global Eye Serum. This has a cooling slanted tip applicator. It has eight different hyaluronic acids at different molecular weights to heighten absorption into the skin, which ultimately heightens potency and efficacy. So when you're working with a hyaluronic acid, you wanna make sure you have different molecular weights so that it can actually be absorbed and then be useful to your skin to help with regeneration, collagen production with that bouncy look that we want. This also, because it's so cooling, helps to decrease puffiness and it's so easy to use. So I'm very much enjoying this one from By Terry. For the body, I needed to show you the U Beauty Super Body Hydrator. This is not new, nor is it new to me, but it's been something I've been reaching for a lot lately as it's been very cold and very dry here in Southern California. At least for us, it's very cold and dry. And when my skin is at its itchiest, there are a few products that I reach for, but one of them is this. It is such a nourishing, intensely hydrating formulation. It's It goes beyond lotion. It's almost glossy in its application, but it's immediately absorbed. It's got a very subtle fragrance. I like it. It's actually pleasing and calming, and my legs were itching like crazy last night after my shower. It happens, I do take hot showers, especially when it's cold. This one calms my itching immediately and wherever I apply it feels so hydrated for nearly 24 hours. One more skincare item that I wanted to discuss is the Clay de Peau UV Protective Cream. It's SPF 50 plus. What's so great about this one, and I actually have it on today, I put it on early this morning, is that it feels like a skincare treatment, a ritual, if you will. Sometimes a sunscreen feels like a chore, and it often is hard to blend in and just changes the whole trajectory of the rest of your skincare and makeup. This one feels like I'm just putting skincare on, and I'm also getting SPF benefits. Clay de Peau does everything with such opulence, and this formulation is no exception. I love how quickly it just sinks into my skin, leaves me with very smooth, glowy skin, and is protecting it all day long. For the hair, I'm showing you a single curler here because I use the T3 Volumizing Hot Rollers. I've used them for years. I've talked about them so many times. I've demonstrated them. They are the key for me to having kind of bouncy, full hair. I'm not looking for tight curls, just some fullness and some volume on my otherwise straight hair. These take care of business without getting too hot or incurring unnecessary damage to your hair. I'm also really excited that T3 offered me a code to share with my followers. This is not sponsored by T3. It's just a code I can share so that you have 20% off, which is a question I get frequently. Do you have any codes so that I can order the rollers with a discount? So I'll have one and any discounts for brands I'm talking about today, I'll always include in the details box below. These rollers, I only put them in today for three minutes, like three minutes, that's it. And it still gives me really full bounciness. And if I leave them in for 20, I get nice curls that stay in all day. Cannot recommend these enough because also it lets me multitask while my hair is getting done. So I can put on makeup, I can clean up all of these things I do while my hair is curing and then I just pull them out and I don't think about it the rest of the day. Such a time saver and they do deliver the kind of fullness that a lot of us are looking for. Another hair product I needed to show you is the Maya Chia Main Agent. I can't remember if I talked about it in my best of 2022 video. I feel like I had received it right around then and I've been using it nonstop since then. I use it two to three times a week which is really aligned with my washing schedule. So I wash every two or three days. And I just, after washing and conditioning with whatever shampoo and conditioner I'm using, I get out of the shower, I towel dry, I gently brush out my hair, and then I spray a few sprays from here to the ends of my hair, down here, and let it do its thing. It's a bond repair formula, and it really works. You guys, I am so in love with the way this has made my hair soft, and shiny and very healthy feeling and looking. It has so many really interesting ingredients and I do feel like Maya Chia as a brand always has such innovative clean ingredients, like luxury clean beauty that really 
gives you the results that even may rival things that don't fall into the clean category. So I love this brand for so many reasons, but this is so good. The reviews are insane. And after having tested it for nearly a month and a half, I completely concur. And I have a deep dive on exactly the science behind this and its ingredients on Beauty Professor in the next few weeks. So more on that soon, but I just needed to give you an update on this one. It's sublime. All right. This kind of is that bridge between all the products I've just discussed and me getting into traditional makeup. So I need to show you. This is one of three of my Zebra Cushy bags. I've talked about Cushy before. I'm such a fan of the way these bags function. This is the one that goes in my purse. It's the smallest size and it still holds absolutely everything I need. So it's got a zipper on one side. It's got some netted pouches on the other so you can divide things. And you can also zip out the interior of these bags so that you can wash them if they get dirty. This one's got you know hot pink on the inside and this gorgeous neutral zebra pattern on the outside. I think it's like the prettiest pattern yet. The material is just so durable. It's lightweight, but it's sturdy. You can also just like the bag stands, which is really important when you have a bag full of makeup or product, that it's not falling over and collapsing on itself. This is structured enough to stand. So I highly recommend it, especially if you're looking for a makeup bag that fits into most handbags. This one fits into my small Celine bucket bag. So it is, it's tiny enough to do that, and but still holds absolutely everything that I need. This is probably my like 10th cushy bag. So clearly I'm a fan really fast i will be linking this sweatshirt i bought this almost six months ago now and i love it it's in a medium could have probably worn a small if you want it even bigger more dress like you could bump up to a large it's super oversized i just tucked it into some frame jeans here but it's one of those dream sweatshirts it's this french terry it's thin but it's still warm and i love this kind of vintage look it's still available i checked and i'm thrilled because normally stuff you buy six months ago isn't available anymore but this one is and I live in it. It also comes in another colorway, and I think I'm going to be picking that up next because I'm just, you know, when you find a sweatshirt you love, you know, and you want to get it in multiples. That's it. Okay, for complexion, I'm almost out of my tube of Povierge from Le Metier de Beauté. This is that X Factor product that I have talked about and have talked about for nearly a decade. I wear shade three year round. Though I have it on good authority that they might be making a new version of four and in the dead of summer when hopefully it's available, I think it'll be a good match for my skin. In the meanwhile, three is my go-to. It creates such a beautiful glow on the skin and it is incredibly hydrating. It's always my first step before foundation. And the foundation I'm wearing today is the Lisa Eldridge foundation. This isn't a new shade for me, it's 20.5. And before I had the 17, which was good, but it was a hair light for me, 20.5 is a new shade, newer shade, and it wasn't available when I first ordered, and it is the perfect match for me right now. And I think it'll even take me into spring and summer. I use two pumps. I actually just use my fingers to apply it. And I love the way this one just makes your skin look like so perfected, but very natural. Another foundation that's a CC cream, <laughs> that's technically not a foundation, but is a CC cream, is this one from Chanel. I did talk about it in my last video. I just, I'm probably almost, I'm two thirds of the way through this, so I just had to update you. I still reach for it all the time. This is in shade 50 beige. I really thought that they had a super tight, limited array of shades and 50 was the darkest, but I, I have since learned that they do have more shades beyond 50, which they should, and so, that's good news, but I adore this one. It's got great medium coverage, a lasting finish, and a soft glow. It's it's beautiful. I never would have tried it except I tried it on a whim and now I can't stop talking about it. For bronzer, I need to show you the new Tower 28 Sculptino. This is in the shade Getty. There are four shades and this one's good for medium skin. This is a matte contour looks like this and I like it because of its ease of use you can get right in there I actually went in and just lightly kind of sculpted my nose get a little bit up here at the hairline you can use your fingers obviously a brush or a sponge for more precision I like how streamlined it is and if you just want to do a quick warm up the face and structure and contour your face 
even on the go, this is excellent. I don't really see a lot of contour products that are this streamlined and simplified, and it's so creamy and blendable, it actually feels foolproof. It's not super warm, it's more neutral as a good contour should be, but it's not ashy or gray, which sometimes contours can be. So this is a beautiful, very easy way to embrace contouring and structuring your face without the need for intense precision. For blush, I'm really enjoying the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wands. I picked them up in two shades. One is peach, one is pink. Here are quick swatches on my wrist. It's getting dark out there, so everything, the lighting's a little wild. I have the pink one just tapped into the apples of my cheeks here. It's matte without being a stark matte. It's actually kind of like a creamy matte. It's just not shimmery. Let's just put it that way. I almost wouldn't call this matte because it doesn't have a traditional matte blush feel. And it's very buildable and blendable. I am a big fan of the beauty wands from Charlotte Tilbury in general, the highlighters, the contours, the blushes, the pinky and peachy ones that are really radiant and luminous, but these are a really effortless addition when you just want a naturally flushed look without any obvious shimmer or sparkle. Another beautiful way to get a lip from within look is with this highlighter. This is the Lit Up Stick from Western Atelier in Parla, and this is a soft, radiant, of pearl champagne. I like it better than the original shade, which is kind of like an iridescent white. I feel like this is so natural and you can just, you put your foundation on and then you just go in there and add some dewiness to the skin. It adds dimension, but it's not like a sparkle. It's more just like a dewy kiss. It looks like you've just been drinking water. Lots and lots of water and not too shimmery. I love how easy this is to apply. I like how pretty it is on the face and this shade feels really seamless and effortless. Go in the makeup bag. Another complexion product that I need to show you is the Essentialist from Gressa. This is a click stick and that comes in a variety of shades. You can wear it alone, you can wear it in tandem with the Gressa foundation, which I super love as well. And this one is my perfect skin match. So I keep it in my makeup bag when I wanna just touch up my face and I'm not carrying foundation, I'll go in there and just do that. You can brighten the eyes. It is so pigmented and concentrated, but really easy to blend out and looks like nothing on the skin. It looks like you just took an airbrush to the skin and it's very, very portable. For eyes, I am wearing two shades from Lisa Eldridge. I have some other Lisa Eldridge products I cannot wait to show you, but today I'm just focusing on these two eye ones. This is Maya and Cressida. This is like a pinky peach, Oh, it's so good, you guys. It is so good. This formulation is creamy, it's buildable, it's blendable, it does not budge once it sets. Here's Cressida, which is pearly. You can also get away with using this one as a highlighter if you want. So versatile. I did a sweep of Maya. I topped it with my finger with a pinch of Cressida, brought Cressida up to the brow bone, and you get such a glowy, pretty eye. It took like two seconds and stays in place. It truly looks like you worked on this so much more than you actually did. And like I said, it'll last, which is essential when it comes to eye products for me. The only other thing I have on my eyes is mascara. In this case, it's Lawless. And then this liner from Jillian Dempsey in the shade Burgundy, which I've shown you before. My favorite for the waterline, just makes your eyes pop and does not budge or irritate. This is my third pencil from her in this color, so that says something. My brows today, the Lawless Soft Set Creamy Brow Wax. I do a mix of the light and then the medium dark. The medium dark really does impart a lot of color, so I do it very sparingly, but I did it on my brows today. Then I, if I wanna touch up, I use the light, which is almost transparent for me, doesn't show up at all, later on to just kind of lift. Like the name would imply a soft brow wax. It does exactly what it says it'll do. You just get in there, brush your brows up, stays in place, it doesn't flake off, and your brows still feel soft to the touch, but super intact, like they're not going anywhere. I like a natural brow, but I like one where my brows are just up a bit, and this one gives me that feathery effect. For lips today, I have five things to show you. You guys know I'm so proud of my Nude Envy Joey lip and my 
Oh, natural trench coat lip. I'm proud of the colors I created. And they're always in my makeup bag, but I also need to show you other things. Today, I'm showing you my trusty Trish McAvoy Barely Nude Lip Liner, which I probably need to get a new one of soon. This just shows you how well loved it is. It is such a gorgeous, intense nude that's creamy, that works with all my lip colors. This Suku lip formulation, amazing. It's like a treatment and a color in one. I've discussed it before. I've shown it on social a bunch of times. This is in the shade five, which is a beautiful mauvey pink. I hope it's still available. This is a part of the permanent collection. So even if it's sold out, be patient, try again, because I'm sure they'll be replenishing, but it's balmy and glossy and feels like nothing I've ever tried before. I, I just love this, it's always in my bag. I am wearing today, in addition to the pencil, I'm wearing this Armani 503. This is my second one, so I've worn it a ton. There's just something so good about this lip power shade for me. It's like a peachy pink, big surprise, but it does something amazing to the lips. I feel like your lips just look their best in this one and it lasts. I topped it with, because I was going crazy today, a mixture of two shades that are in the same family. This is the new Sisley Lip Shine in Beverly Hills which is stunning. It's created in collaboration with Patrick Foley, who is a dear friend and also a makeup artist, beauty expert. And he created the most perfect pinky peach beige. The shine is gorgeous. Also am enjoying this Tarte Lip Plump in white peach, which I was really struggling to get for a while. I couldn't find it. And now I found it in stock at Sephora this weekend. So I had to show you. I did top, just put a little more on top because I can't stop sometimes. This one's lighter, much lighter than the Sisley Beverly Hills. So they're different and serve different purposes, but both are just great on top of something a little bit darker. All right, and that concludes these products I'm loving right now that I think are worth it. I hope I showed you something that you found interesting or maybe that you're already loving. I welcome your questions and your comments. Please share ideas for videos you'd like for me to do in the future and also drop in any questions you might have, maybe even to the comments now for a Q&A type video that I'm hoping to film very soon. I am so grateful that you're here. I am really in earnest about trying to make more frequent videos. So here I go. <laughs> Have a beautiful rest of the month. In the meanwhile, don't forget to visit me at my Instagram at Beauty Professor, which is updated daily, as well as beautyprofessor.com. Take care. <laughs>